Hey queens, welcome back to my channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet to join the queen family. Um, today's video is going to be on how to get clear skin. I know it's something that people struggle with a lot and um, I've recently found clear skin myself. So I just wanted to give some insight and help any of you out there that are struggling to find clear skin. Sorry I don't have a drop of makeup on right now. I didn't feel like it. So let's get into this tutorial. The very first thing I want you to do is go look at all your face washes and if you have a single one that says scrub, throw it in the trash. So yes, all of St. Ives or any other brand that says scrub on it, get rid of it. I know this seems harsh and I know they seem cool. Um, I bought one somewhat recently because it sounded awesome and they sound like they work really well and they seem to smell good. That being said, they will ruin your skin. The little hard things that make it a scrub will make tiny little cuts in your face and those little cuts will get infected and cause you to get more pimples and more bacteria. So overall, just giving you more acne. Do not use them. Zero out of ten. Step two, buy a moisturizer. A good one. I had an e.l.f. one and it burned my skin when it had like a few dry patches and I put e.l.f. moisturizer on it, it burned. Get a nice one. You, you can invest in yourself on this. I got a Clinique one, it was about $39, which is kind of a lot, but if you want clear skin, invest in it, I promise. Tip three. Hydrate. That should just be an obvious one, but I'm not throwing shade at you because I'm the worst at drinking water too, but overall it is just so good for your body in literally every way, so drink water. Simple. So obviously not everyone's skin is the same, so my skincare routine may not work for you but i use panoxyl face wash which has 10 percent of benzoyl peroxide i think is how you pronounce it and um, i'm pretty sure benzoyl peroxide is what is found in proactive but as far as i'm aware um, proactive only uses like four percent or something like that and panoxyl uses 10 percent so it's a lot higher that being said it will dry out your skin if you use it a lot and um, I found that out and that's why I invested in a moisturizer and that's when my skin got the clearest. So, yes. Next, no matter what face wash you use, um, I learned this tip from, insert Twitter handle here. And she posted this thing about how you should wash your face for at least 60 seconds. And that doesn't mean just letting it sit on there, that means rubbing it in for 60 seconds at least because otherwise it does not soak into your pores and it doesn't do anything and it takes at least 60 seconds to at least start working and getting into your pores and cleaning out your skin. This tip has pretty much saved my life. Rub in your cleanser for at least 60 seconds. Set a timer, sing a song, whatever it takes, do it because look at me. So as you can see, Panoxyl is the brand that I use. So here I am just wetting my face. Um, I usually do this in the shower so my face is already wet. Alright, so here I am. I'm starting to rub it in for 60 seconds at least and just massaging it into my skin.
are now rinsing it off with warm water, splashing water onto my face repeatedly. That's why I keep moving up and down. <laughs> nice, wow, that's really cute. And now I'm drying my face. So this is some coconut micellar water that I got in my Ipsy bag. Um, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I don't actually know what it does, but I'm pretty sure it's good. I've heard good things about micellar water from estheticians. So I decided to start using it and my skin has been looking good. So here's me just rubbing it in. So now I'm going to go in and use my Clinique Moisturizer. It is the Clinique ID, so there's two different ones that I got to pick. And, yep, I just shake it and then rub it on my face. And it makes my skin nice and soft. So that's my whole skincare routine, and here's me being a doofus flaunting my new clear skin wow i'm cute wow pose pose mm-hmm yep feeling myself looking good oh yeah so anyway that's pretty much my skincare routine um, i do face masks every once in a while and i'm going to show you a few of those Other than that, that's pretty much all I do. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, if you enjoyed this video or if you want to see more of this type of content, be sure to give me a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below. And as always, if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the little bell to make sure you have my post notifications on so you know when I post. But if you don't know, I do post every Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. So either way, you can just check at that time um so anyway guys i love you so much and i really hope you enjoy this video so i will see you next tuesday love you